Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom quick tip video brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. If you want to follow along, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download a free trial of Lightroom so that you can play along with all of the videos that we're making, and let's get into it. Here we have export presets. Why do we use them? How do we make them? And why are they important? Adam, why don't we show how to make an export preset? Okay. So let's say, for example, I want this to be an Instagram image. I want to be able to, every time I export for Instagram, have a preset pre-made so that I don't have to go there and go through all the different steps. So let's show you everyone how to do this very easily. So we go into File, Export, and we get up to the Export menu. And here's where we're going to make our settings. So we're going to go and we're going to select JPEG. We're going to be at 100%. We're going to resize it to 1080 because we know that 1080 is the resolution for Instagram. And we're going to have 72 DPI because it's going to be on a, probably a mobile device. And that's it. And then we hit Add. And it's going to go into our user presets and we'll just call it IG for now. Create. And there it is. So every time we export, we can easily get into our user presets, select IG, and it will be the resolution we've chosen. Right. One of the things that Adam did there is he selected on the longest edge. I like selecting on the longest edge so we know that the at least you're going to have 1080 by however it falls. Now, presets are great whether you're exporting something for Facebook, whether you're exporting it for emailing, whether you're exporting it for full res. These are things that just make your life a lot easier when you make these presets and it's just so easy to do that add new preset for whatever it is you're doing. This is how easy it is. Anything else to add there, Adam? Well, just like you said, all the kind of things that you do on a regular basis. You export images for your portfolio, create a preset for that size. You export images for your printer, create a preset for that so that when you go and you're actually working, you can really speed up your workflow. All right, so presets are definitely really easy and that is a great quick tip. But if you wanna follow along with the rest of this 30 for 30, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You could also download a free trial of Lightroom to check it out for yourself. And that is it, Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.